Welcome back to Black Belt Secrets. Today I'm going to take you through some shoulder exercises and stretches. For those of you that have had shoulder injuries, these will be very important. So first of all, it's a good idea to have your shoulders warmed up. So there's a couple of exercises to get your shoulders warm. And first of all, you can make big circles to the front, moving your shoulders up and down. This is a generic all over area movement, which gets everything moving together. And it doesn't take long before you feel everything start to warm up. And then of course you can do these backwards. You can do these for 30 seconds to 60 seconds each and you just time yourself to what you feel is better for your own individual warm up. You can expand this out by taking the arms out to the side and if you make small circles with your arms coming forwards then you're actually engaging those muscles around the shoulders so they are going to work and again, you'll feel any aches, pains, and strains in particular area, which should tell you where you need to focus on for stretching and exercise. If you make these circles bigger now, then the muscles that are engaged will be engaged in slightly different ways, and other muscles, such as the, even the chest, will get involved in this, but lower down the back as well. So you'll feel that each of these muscles need to work to make these circles bigger. And of course, you can do these going backwards. You make small circles going backwards. The same muscles work, but they work in slightly different ways because again, you're moving in a different direction. And again, 30 to, 30 to 60 seconds or so is just fine, depending on your own routine. Now you can make these circles bigger again, going backwards, and it doesn't take long before you feel some sort of work going on with these muscles. And that's a good thing because that will tell you that you're engaging the muscles which means you're warming them up before any stretching that we'd like to do. So quick basic warm-ups are always a good idea. Another good warm-up exercise for your shoulders, which I always do in my classes, you'll get your arms parallel to the ground with your thumbs pointing together, and then you're gonna do a hitchhike motion with both thumbs coming backwards, and then come back to parallel. So you're gonna go back and down, back and down, back and down. Now you're not throwing the arms back, it's just a controlled stretch backwards so it's a movement rather than a, a fling back so you're pushing your arms back and then you can get a comfortable speed comfortable rhythm and you're doing this just to warm up the rotation of your shoulders going backwards it's a very good warm-up there's a little bit of a stretch you'll feel on the front side here but mostly it's a rotational warm-up for the shoulder joints Again, 30 to 60 seconds, as appropriate for your own particular warm-up. Continuing with the rotation warm-up, I'll show you from the side. You get your arms parallel to the floor, and you're going to push your elbows back. Now again, we're not throwing them back, we're just pushing them back and relax. Push back and relax, push back, relax, push back, relax, push back, relax, push back, relax, and so on. Again, 30 to 60 seconds, as appropriate for your warm-up. Now, a good generic stretch for the shoulders is to just sit yourself down on the floor, turn your hands, rotate away from you towards the back on both sides, just reaching behind, bend your elbows a little bit, slide yourself forwards until you feel that stretch on the front side of the shoulders and around to the outside. And you can relax in this position again, 30 to 60 seconds or so. If you feel the stretch is no longer very, very, very tight, you can slide yourself forward to the point that you're gonna straighten your arms eventually and then lift your chest to the front and that will stretch to the maximum for your shoulder area around the front and may even get your chest involved as well in the stretch. And that's good because everything around the surrounding area will get stretched and become nice and loosened off. The next stretch we're going to do, we're going to lie down on the floor. You're going to take the arm that you're going to stretch right out to the side, stretch out as far as you can go. You're going to take the other hand and push yourself into that arm that you're stretching. Bring your knees up as well and just gently push into that stretch as much as you can. You'll feel that stretch all the way across the top and the front edge of the shoulder there. And again, you just keep breathing, relax and hold that stretch position. Next stretch we'll do standing up again. Uh, this is quite an easy one. If you were to turn your hands invert, put them on your hip like this, and then looking from the side, take your hand here and 
tuck it right behind your lower back so it's flat against your lower back like this. If you have a belt it's easy to tuck that in to keep that in place but on the lower back is just sufficient. You can take your other hand, you're going to put it inside the loop that your arm makes here and very gently you're going to apply some pressure downwards that takes it to a lower extreme and then you're going to gently pull forwards at the same time so down and forwards and then again you can repeat this gradually and gently apply some pressure down apply some pressure forwards down and forwards down and forwards and this will increase the range of motion and if you get to a point where you don't feel you can do anymore or you really want to push that stretch take it to a wall and so it's out to the side against the wall and then rotate your body into the arm that's bent against the wall but making sure that you keep the downward pressure as well and then rotate your body inwards to the wall not so much that it hurts none of this should be painful none of this uh, especially sharp pain and again 30 to 60 seconds is a good enough stretch and then gradually let go and then give it a rotate and shake off another great stretch for the extremities is if you have a, an overhead bar pull-up bar or something it's really useful otherwise you could just use the frame of a door so I use this because I have this here all you're going to do is quite simple so it's the same as if it's a door frame grab hold of it and walk as though you're going through the door frame or underneath the bar but hold on to the bar or the door frame until you get to an extreme position and then just lean your weight forward whilst this is pulling backwards and again you'll feel the stretch in the extreme places here all of the ligaments underneath that support the shoulder will all get some stretch that way and again you can move around and find the stretch extremity and just hold it for again 30 odd seconds each of these exercises you'll repeat on the opposite side ideally one after another so you do one exercise and then the other in rotation so those are my main stretches for the shoulders and problems with the shoulders so supraspinatus injuries are common rotator cuff injuries are common so the warm-ups at the beginning and the stretches that follow do them on both sides and do them regularly just do a little bit every day and you'll find that the stretch muscles heal better they heal faster and they heal stronger so please do the warm-ups first Go through the exercises in routine and I promise you they'll make you feel better. Please do drop any comments and questions in the comments box below. Please do tell me what you'd like me to cover and I'll try to cover that in the next video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.